Hi, uh, this is Martin, and I will show quickly how to change UI text uh, in GitLab if you want to edit it. Let me start sharing my screen. Right, so in this example, we want to look at group settings at the application page. Uh, so I've already started my GDK and uh, uh, let me go to any group and as the administrator user I can get into settings there and let's click applications so this is the page I want to edit um, now the process is like that. I find a string that I want to edit. So let's say I, I want to change something in the, the main description. Uh, let me copy it. And uh, now I'll go to VS Code that I have open. I have loaded uh, different GitLab projects. Uh, most importantly, the GitLab project. Um, and let's paste the string into the search bar. Now, I already see that the, the main uh, thing that I'm looking for is here, mm, but there's also a lot of unnecessary irrelevant uh, results, for mostly from translation files. So it's good to have some, th some, some mm, folders or, or file, file names or file types in the exclude uh, field. Uh, so I have this collection. Most importantly here, we want the locale folder. And this will exclude uh, the translation files. So we only get this. And uh, so it's a ham file. And we found the, the string we were looking for. Now, uh, now we can we can modify it how we want. I saved the file and let's refresh GDK. Right, so this is this was what I was looking for. Now another example is this description under the text box. So let's say I want to add the period under uh, at the end. So the process is the same. I copy the, the string go to search for it, and it shows up in another file, as is often the case with uh, settings pages. Now, it shows up twice. Once in the app views admin application applications folder, and then once in something with doorkeeper. So for me, I don't know which one it is, uh, but again, I will modify one of them, uh, save the file and see after refresh if it shows up and it did. So I wouldn't have guessed that it's a doorkeeper thing, but it was that. So let me undo that, make the change I wanted, and refresh again. Right, and we have the period at the end. Um, and so I would do that with all the file, like all the all the strings that I want to change. It gets a bit more tricky uh, for fields named like name, uh, because I imagine there's many of them in the code base. But usually, if you go to the explorer, if you um, maybe you can look around uh, next, like close to the the file that you found something else in. Now, when you uh, when you change strings that are formatted like this, uh, which means that they are externalized for translation, uh, you need to regenerate the GitLab.pot file, and you do it by running the the command that I don't remember, the get text command that you can see in my terminal right now. And this will re 
regenerate the GitLab POT file, which is a collection of strings from all over the code base. Um, one more thing to, to try uh, when you're changing settings text is sometimes there is a spec file or a test file for, the, for that specific file. And uh, you can, you know, you can push your changes, um, open a merge request and wait for the pipeline to fail um, and tell you what to fix. Or uh, you can search for the spec file. Now I have this extension um, called go to spec, VS Code expansion extension. And when you're in a file, um, and I press Control Shift P or Command Shift P on Mac, uh, and when you type spec or go to spec, you can see this command. In this case, it doesn't do anything, uh, but very often it found a file for me that, that I had to modify to fix the tests. And that's it.